Hey, you guys, how are all of you tonight? I'm like, I think like two hours late or something, but I had some things to do, some errands to run. So I'm Andrea Cox. If I actually get any of you on here, let's see. Say hello and tell me where you are tuning in from in the comment section below. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, Facebook gathers an audience. If you can, as you log on, just tell me where you're tuning in from in the comments. Hit the like button, like the video, so I know you can hear me clearly, and I will get started for all of you. Uh, I am Andrea Cox, and I'm gonna show you a quick, easy, vegan, gluten-free treat you can make for your kids on Halloween. Uh, my kids can't eat these because they have fur and they don't eat these, but your kids can. So just hit the like button on this video, post where you're tuning in from below. And when I see we have enough people on here, and let me know if you can hear me as well. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Ed. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Deborah and Peter. Oh my gosh, you guys made like a joint Facebook page. Wow, that's fun. And just let me know. Okay, Lafayette, Louisiana, Boca Raton, Florida. Must be nice. How's the weather there? Hey, Chris, uh, tell me where you're tuning in from. Can you guys hear me? Hit the like button on this video if you can hear me. We're pushing towards 20 of you, so I should see 20 the video liked 20 times. Uh, okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. So first of all, what are you handing out for candy? I'm going to show you what I hand out for candy, and then I'm going to show you this really easy recipe with three ingredients, four ingredients, and it's super easy to make. I absolutely love marshmallows, and they have a vegan Halloween marshmallow at Jimbo's. Jimbo's is my favorite store in the entire world. I think I probably bought Jimbo's last house. I spend so much money in Jimbo's. These are all natural pumpkin flavored marshmallows. All right, so I'm gonna make something that is my favorite childhood treat when we are done, my absolute favorite. I have stuff on my dress. I already know that you don't have to point it out. Okay. So this is what I hand out for Halloween. I opened this bag this morning to make sure they were good for the kids, you know. I am dressing up uh, tomorrow as a good, a good witch. I've got like really interesting hair and um, for the, the occasion and it's gonna be nice. Okay, so I hand out, if the costume is just okay or if like they're too old to be trick-or-treating, I hand out the wholesome, mindfully delicious lollipops. Now that is if, so these are gluten-free, these are vegan, um, they're, you know, they don't have crap sugar in them, they're, they're good, you know, they're, they're good for you. So wholesome is a really good brand to get candy. A lot of drugstores are carrying wholesome right now. I can't believe I opened it, how embarrassing. I had some lollipops today. If the kids are super, super cute, like super cute, or they're babies, even though they can't eat these, I'm just like giving props to the parents because the babies are cute. Or if they're dressed super cute, I give them a sun cup. This is uh, like a Reese's cup, only it's made with, oh, ooh, Lewis. I just, you guys, this is gonna bite me because I just stepped on them. I'm so sorry. Okay. So these are what I hand out. So these are for the really cute kids and their parents. These are for the, you know, I put no effort into my costume or I'm too old to be trick or treating. That's what I hand out. Now, I also hand out these little cocoa Mel's. These are chocolate covered salted coconuts. These are, it's just really delicious. That's what I hand out. Now, here is actually what I'm going to make. I am going to make a pumpkin rice crispy treat so that's what i'm doing that's what i'm making and these are super easy not hard at all there's four ingredients to this you don't even have to measure 
Sorry, I stepped on my dog. I have to pet him. He's kind of pissed at me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. He's like looking up at me like, I'm going to bite your dress in about 30 seconds, and that would not be cool. Okay, so all these have in them. You want to get like a puffed rice cereal. I like this cereal by Nature's Pack because it's just two ingredients. It's like um, puffed brown rice. I don't like to eat brown rice because of the phytates in it. it. They kind of inhibit mineral absorption. I prefer like real organic white rice, but they didn't have any at Jimbo's, Jimbo. It's got like brown rice, molasses, sea salt. Okay, organic gluten-free, super, super easy. All right, so all you wanna do, you wanna put, you wanna take a big bowl like this. Let me see, who, who do we have on here? Oh, we have Nick. Nick's actually a celebrity chef, but he doesn't make vegan food. Shame on you, Nick. Okay, you guys, thanks for hitting the, the like button on this video so our algorithm gets increased. Okay. So all you want to do is you want to open this bag of cereal, like so. You want to do five cups. So I'm not going to measure because these don't bake. You just, it's super easy. So there's seven cups in a box. So I'm just going to like leave a little in there. I'm just going to eyeball it because I'm smart enough to do so. I mean, I've been doing this a while. So I'm going to leave about two cups in there. So this is what two cups will look like in the bag. All right. So five cups puffed rice cereal. Puffed rice cereal. God, I love Rice Krispie Treats. I love Rice Krispie Treats. So just like you're going to bake, you're going to keep your dry ingredients first. I really don't like this dress, but that's okay. We're over it. Okay, so... I'm not going to bite it. I almost bit it. So then you want to take your pumpkin filled marshmallows. Actually, I'm going to do that. These are so good. These pumpkin filled marshmallows at Jimbo's. Oh my God. These are. Nope. That's not for you. Nope. Three second roll. Put it down. No. No. I'm sorry. Roger almost got it. So you want to just add your marshmallows, like so, like so, you know, just my hands are clean, you know, just move it around, you know, I got a wooden spoon so you guys like me better. So you just kind of mix it all around like that. There's your dry ingredients. Puff right, God, these marshmallows are so good. Okay, that's it. I went to the gym this morning. I can have some pumpkin marshmallows. Okay, coconut oil. Use the raw coconut oil. Put it in the dehydrator. If you have a dehydrator, if not, put it in the oven, put it in the sun to get it liquefied. Coconut oil will be uh, solid at room temperature. Okay, you can do anything with this. You can. You can grease your car up. You can take your makeup off with this. You can grease your hair. My hair's got coconut oil in it right now, actually. So I can get this, like, wig thing I'm wearing for Halloween on tomorrow night. Anyway, you want to get the raw, unfiltered, virgin, just like me, coconut oil. <laughs> and you want to melt it in the sun, right? You want to do two tablespoons. So I'm going to... Oh my God, I love Rice Krispie Treats. I love marshmallows so much. All right. Okay, you wanna kind of blend the two tablespoons of coconut oil in. Then you wanna get yourself some grade B maple syrup. Maple syrup is actually a really good sweetener because it's full of minerals. Most people don't know that. These are so good. I'm done, I'm done. Most people don't know. Best things ever. You guys, best things ever. Best things ever. I'm going to stock up on these tomorrow. I actually want to see something. I've eaten half the bag of another bag. That's, I'm not even going to front like I don't. I eat these things every year. Okay. 
Get grade B maple syrup. It's actually less processed than grade A. That's why I need a husband right there. Um, grade B. They actually didn't have grade B. They had grade A used to be grade B, whatever that means. But grade B is actually less processed than grade A, if I didn't say that like 3,000 times. So you want to do, um, I think it's two tablespoons of maple syrup. So I'm going to eyeball one tablespoon. Maybe a little more. You know, don't do too much. You're going to kind of like, okay, so now it's making like the Rice Krispie Treat like thing. And then I'm going to eyeball a little more. Now, the recipe calls for like margarine. I use coconut oil instead. The Rice Krispie Treats, the kids, you, your husband, no one will know the difference that they're not getting like pus filled dairy in their Rice Krispie Treat, I promise you. Plus, the, uh, the pumpkin flavor kind of lends itself to being like really, oh my God, that one fell out, so I had to, okay. So, maybe a little more than two tablespoons. So basically, you're gonna stir this up until, you know, it gets sticky and meshed together. And you're gonna take, would be under everything. You're gonna take like a pie plate and you're gonna push this into the plate and put it in the fridge and that's it. When it cools, you slice it. I wish I had some to show you, but I ate them all. I literally made a batch of them three days ago. Here's the proof right here. Half batch and I ate them. I, I do that. I, you know, I live alone and I ate them. It's all right. So these are so super good and they're healthy. They're not, there's no crap in the marshmallows. I mean, there's a little crap. It's not like the healthiest thing. There is cane sugar. Uh, there's filtered water. Uh, they use natto. You know, it's, it's not the best for you, but it's gluten-free and it's vegan. It's not the worst either. Now, I'll take these into the gym and give them to the people that work there tomorrow because, or otherwise, I'll eat them all. But this is great if you have kids that, like, want to nosh on candy all the time. I'm pretty sure my mom, I mean, I could be mistaken, mistaken. But I think, you know, we used to take pillowcases around to collect our treats in. And I think my mom let us keep like a few things and then she like took away the rest so we wouldn't gorge on it. I don't know, mom, you can let me know because I don't remember that far back. But, uh, you know, see, it's getting all, it's getting all kind of like gooey. It's getting like Rice crispy Treaty, right? Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, oh, this is good stuff. So you're gonna make sure all of it's covered with the maple syrup and the coconut oil. Hang on, I'm almost done, folks. Just gonna make sure. So you'll know it's all covered because everything gets like darker. It goes from like white to like an orangey yellow color. Now, some alternatives, okay? Some alternatives for these, you can put chocolate chips in there. So, so yeah. So these are uh, vegan chocolate chips. I just keep them in a canning jar in the fridge. You can put some chocolate chips in there. You can put like walnuts in there. You can really put anything in there. I'm gonna look at some of your comments. Best thing ever, right, Katie? You want to come over? You're local. Carrie's syrup. I'll check that out, Joseph. Thanks for the link. Hey, Scott, how are all of you? Thanks for all the thumbs up, you guys, and feel free to share the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer this into here. I'm going to stick it in the fridge for like an hour max, 
and boom, you have like the healthiest Rice Krispie treats ever. Now, if you get it in here and you're like, man, that those aren't sticking together enough, put it in the freezer and that will stick together. Trust me, I know stuff. Okay. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Uh, oh my God, you guys. Martha Stewart, just with bigger, you know, yeah. Okay, so I'm almost done. I almost left you, God, this is filling this. I almost left you guys hanging for Halloween. I was like, that would be so shady. Okay, so when you get it in here, just take the edge. Uh, 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 uh. Press it down like so. These are so good. Okay, so look, I'm not even going to front and act like those marshmallows are super healthy because they're not, but they're gluten-free, they're vegan, they don't have bullshit in them like regular marshmallows, so they're better to feed, you know, your kids, so then your kids aren't like bouncing off the wall like they have like, you know, ADHD, not, no offense, if, you know, if they do have ADHD, which I personally think comes from food, but... Okay, so that's it and that's all. Look at that. So I'm gonna refrigerate these. I will put a picture on uh, Raw Chef Andrea on Instagram. These are so freaking yummy. Just make sure as you push it in here that it's all flat. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. So good. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for 30, 45 minutes, an hour. And then I'm going to slice them and stack them up and take them to the gym like a good girl. So I don't end up eating, you know, a whole container of them tomorrow, which I might. Uh, have a happy, healthy Halloween. Don't let your kids eat like shit. Come on. You know, and then they act crazy and get bad grades in school. We don't need that. We don't need that. Feed them healthy. If you're going to feed them crap, feed them this crap because this crap is healthier than the crap on the supermarket shelves that is packaged and processed and full of garbage. I love each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a beautiful Halloween. Don't forget to get the grade B, not the grade A, maple syrup. Don't forget to get, you know, good organic crispy rice. Don't forget to get the Halloween pumpkin flavored marshmallows. Have a beautiful evening and a great Halloween. Be well. Links in the description box. Bye. Happy, happy day. I'm going to be.